Financial Lessons from Fairy Tales Hello everyone, this is Roan Celis Capistrano of One Million Club. I just realized na may mga stories pala na alam na natin noong mga bata pa tayo na kung ma-e-emphasize lang, may mga financial lessons pala tayong mapupulot. First, ang langgam at ang tipaklong. Isa to sa paborito kong kwento nung bata pa ako. Yung mga aral pala dito ay dapat nating i-apply lalo na pag nagtatrabaho na tayo. This story teaches us the law of sowing and reaping. Importante na may ipon tayo para pag dumating ang emergency sa buhay natin, di na natin kailangan mangutang. Si langgam ka ba o si tipaklong? Mahirap pong maging tipaklong. Mahirap pong mabaon sa utang. Second, the three little pigs. Like the three pigs in the story, we can illustrate that as follows. Poor people build financial houses made of straw. The middle class build financial houses made of sticks. And rich people build houses made of bricks. Poor people think of one day survival lang. Makaraos lang ako sa isang araw, okay na ako. Middle class focus on purchasing house, car, gadgets, para magmukhang mayaman, pero majority ay baon sa utang. Rich people focus on growing their money. They keep on investing on income-producing assets. Sabi nga ni T. Harv Eker, Poor people work hard and spend all their money, which results in their having to work hard forever. Rich people work hard, save and then invest their money, so they never have to work hard again. So how strong is your financial house? If your situation now is A, there are ways to improve it and move yourself to B. Third, ang koneho at ang pagong. Sa kwento na to, napaligsahan sa pagtakbo, obvious na malaki ang chance ni koneho na manalo dahil physically, mas mabilis siya kaysa kay pagong. Pero dahil sa natulog si koneho, sa bandang huli, nanalo si pagong. Nakakatawa pero alam mo bang nangyayari din to sa tunay na buhay? Koneho represents talented people. Pagong represents hardworking people. Pwedeng talented ka nga, matalino, magaling sa math, magaling sa English, pero kung tatamad-tamad ka, aba, mauunahan kang umasenso ng mga masisipag. Marami ang nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral pero baon sa utang. May mga tao naman na kahit di nakatapos ng pag-aaral, di masyadong talented, may mga narating na sa buhay. Kaya kung gusto mo maging okay ang financial situation mo, every day, do your best. It doesn't matter how slowly you progress. If you do your best, guaranteed na you will be promoted in your job. Your salary will increase. Then you can save more money. Sabi nga, the turtle always wins. Kaya gaya ni Pagong, keep on moving. Sabi nga ni Rich Dad, I am far richer than most people simply because I did not stop. I never stopped learning or expanding my reality on what was possible for my life. Again, here are the financial lessons from fairy tales. From the story Ang Langgam at Ang Tipaklong, we have learned the law of sowing and reaping. From the story The Three Little Pigs, we have learned the importance of investing. From the story Ang Koneho at Ang Pagong, we have learned the value of hard work and continuous learning. Do you want to improve your financial situation? First step is to educate yourself. We are conducting free practical money management and investment strategies in Makati and Cebu. For those located in other provinces and outside the Philippines, we are conducting webinar. One Million Club is here to help you. Please visit www.onemillionclub.com and please subscribe if you like this video. And if you want to learn more about investments, you may also email me at roan at onemillionclub.com. Thank you for watching this video.